Druid is one of the most well-rounded towers in Balloon Sea Battles 2. The top path offers you some good early game defense with the Heart of Thunder and great late game cleanup with the Superstorm. The middle path offers you a farming capability with the Jungle's Bounty, some good ceramic cleanup with the Druid of the Jungle, and great group popping power with the Spear of the Forest with some solid BD damage in the late game. And lastly, the bottom path, you can get speed buffs on your Druids with the Heart of Vengeance. The Druid of Wrath is great early game, and the Avatar of Wrath is an absolute powerhouse in the late game rounds. So today, we will be using the Druid and getting three life buff fifth tier Druids and buffing them as well with the Homeland defense and absolutely destroying the late game rushes. So let's hop right into it. Let's get it, guys. All right, we're against Tednik here, who's going Churchill, and I'm going Adora with the strategy of Dartling, Druid, and Village, and we're on the map Salmon Ladder. Now, you might think it's a little bit weird that I'm going to Dora with this strategy, but it'll make a little bit more sense throughout the game. For one, I didn't want to bring Gwendolyn because Gwendolyn doesn't pair very well with Dartling on this map in specific. And I didn't want to bring Benjamin because Benjamin rejuvenates lives, which kind of counters my Druid. So I was like, why not bring Adora? Um, Adora's abilities could be pretty useful. The sacrifice ability is going to be nice. So we're going to start with Adora. They're starting with attack and their submarine. Okay. That's fine. And then we're going to get our Dartling down next is going to be my plan here. So maybe one more economy boost and I get my Dartling out. And that'll be pretty solid. Let's get Dartling down right about... I think here's the Dartling spot. I see people place it. Right about here. There's some greens. Okay, puts on last. I'm going to leak quite a bit to get these greens, aren't I? Hmm. Do I tower boost? I don't think so. I think I just tank the leaks, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I think we just tank the leaks here. How much am I leaking? Okay. Pretty soon here, I can get the powerful darts up on my end. All right, powerful darts is up. We're good. Honestly, I probably could have just went middle path on my dartling as well and spent a little bit less money on it, but powerful darts is fine. Now we should be chilling. Just continue max eco one at my opponent. I can still get good druid buffs later. The plan is we're not going to get our druid buffs in early in the game here. We're going to begin leaking camel blooms later. Because starting with the druid, I, even if I start with the druid, I still need my hydro rocket pods on round 11. So I'm just going to have a lot more expensive round 11 defense with the Druid start. So we're just going to start with the Dartling and then get our Druids down later. All right, we got our level three ability now, which is nice. Attack sub. Don't know what their loadout is in specific. They already got up a blade shooter and a double shot. I'm assuming they've got farm. Judging by the fact they were sending me a bunch of space deco. I just tried to go for a farm on my side when I have village. I've been playing too many farm strategies recently, guys. I almost just placed a village down thinking it was the farm. Okay, round five. Send him some greens. We're good. We're good. They went for a Churchill. Churchill in round five. What? That is a late Churchill coming out from Tednik. Okay. I didn't even realize. Yeah, I didn't even realize till now they didn't have their hero down. So I guess it's good they placed their hero down. But you want to be starting with the Churchill, brother. Churchill round five is way too late for that one. And now they get their farm down. Okay, so it's, it's tax sub Churchill farm is their loadout. All right. Interesting loadout, I've got to say. Very interesting loadout. Should I target my Dartling upwards? If I target it upwards, it's going to defend a little bit better, but the problem with it, if I target upwards, it's going to anti-stall as well. Well, I can actually target wherever now. Now, okay, there's semi-balloons, because they weren't semi-balloons earlier, but now I can, I'll, I'll just leave a target upwards for now. I'll just leave a target upwards. Send them yellows. They'll be good against yellows. Okay, again, they're not sending me balloons, so if they don't send me... Oh, now they're sending me yellows. I use a door ability against this. Now. A door ability actually just solos these. I actually probably didn't even need it against that. They barely sent me any, to be fair. That was a very small yellow rush there. A very small yellow rush. All right. 700 eco is not bad at all here. A door is kind of anti-stalling. Oh, there's so many purples. We're going to get a second Darling down. The second Darling is going to be my Hydro Rocket Pods later. Uh, we should keep the Darlings kind of targeted downwards. Yeah. Stole the rounds. Faster barrel spin. All right. Round nine. Okay, there aren't so many region zebras. That's one thing I was a little bit worried about. No region zebras. We're good there. I'm going to stop my eco pretty soon here. All right, stop my eco right there. They sell their submarine. And then they replace it. Okay, I don't know why they sold it then. Huh. Because they had the right path on it for a reactor. They had the bottom path, which is the path they want. So selling it and replacing it's an interesting decision. Okay, if they send me a rush, I'm just going to go sell my Dartling for Hydro Pods. If they don't send me a rush, I'd honestly just like to keep this Zero to Dartling alongside the Hydro Pods. Alright, let's get it up. We're good. Send them a little bit of eco. They're actually, they might have to answer these Black Balloons. Well, uh, no, I think Churchill and their Chak Chakshir Solos. Oh, they go for the Reactor anyways, guys. We got the Reactor on their side, Force, so that's good. 
that's good that's good one thing i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go for a little druid on last with heart of oak this will just de regrow a little bit in case they send me rush and i might just upgrade this into an early jungle's bounty to be honest feeling like an early jungle's bounty in the field just because it's some selling power and i can sell this startling to get it yeah we'll do that it's 150 equivalent eco as well which is pretty solid so now i've got a solid economy Tower boost. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh, that was a big rush. That was a big rush. Are they going to re-rush me? I assume they are. Yep. Sell that. Buckshot. We're good. We're good. We're good. Man, I just sell the druid farm right after. That's not very good, but I mean, that was two big rushes they sent me, to be fair. Those weren't small rushes they sent. So, like, I guess it's not terrible at the end of the day for me that they forced me to sell my druid farm, but, yeah. Because they, they, the first rainbow rush was quite large, and then the second one wasn't small either, so. We got a druid farm back up, though, which is solid. And, I, and my opponent's eco's got to be really bad here, too, is the thing, because they stopped their eco early game pretty early, so I shouldn't have too much to worry about here. Let's use our druid farm ability, and we'll keep max eco on. I have a really strong defensive setup now with the Buckshot Hydro Pod still, so they shouldn't really be able to pester me much more offensively, which is nice. We'll keep Eco in here. My plan is to get Druid Leaks in on round 18 for some life buff Druid action. So we'll see if I can accomplish that. I could hopefully get three life buff Druids. That's the plan. Round 18 here. All right. I just target the Dartlings away. If they send me a Camel Rush, I obviously kind of have to respond to the Camel Rush, but by targeting my Dartlings back. If they don't send me anything, I get 60 Leaks here. Wait, they're sending me some Camos? Okay. See if I can leak some of these Camos? Oh, I didn't hit, I hit too many of them. I still got some Druid Leaks in nonetheless, and I'll leak this as well. So, I mean, that wasn't a terrible amount of Leaks. I could have, oh, they're sending me more. They're offering more Leaks for me. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. Fortified Moab. Multiple fortified mobs. We're good. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're fine. <laughs> I sacrificed my hydroacopods to defend. I could have tower boosted as well. Wait, why didn't it tower boost? I don't know why I didn't tower boost, but that was still a, that was still a cool play nonetheless. You gotta admit that was kind of a cool play. Because now I leveled up my door a bunch, so if they send me another rush, I can get the bowl of light coming in here. So, oh, can I get more leaks here? I should be able to. No, I popped them. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, this game has been kind of scuffed, to be honest. But I feel like we've played it pretty well as well at the same time. Given the circle. No, stop. Oh my gosh, I didn't target my Rotlings in time. He gave me a chance to get more Druid Leaks in, and I just didn't take it. All right, Camel Purples. We're good. I didn't want to try to leak against that, because that was a pretty sizable rush, so. We're fine. No leaks there. Round 23. Are they going to send me Tight Leads? What do I even do against Tight Leads? How, what does Bowl of Light do against Tight Leads? I'm not actually sure. Okay, we'll go for that. Am I throwing? I think I almost threw by trying to leak those, but we're good. Oh, I can get leaks on this round. I can get leaks on this round pretty easily. If I am sub, I'm okay at darling targeting, but kind of not doing well at it. All right, leak. Oh, that's good. That's good. Now we have a really strong druid buff. Okay, my eco and my druid farms are awful though. I'll be honest. I've kind of been just like not equaling a lot of the time because I've been so scared from all the camera rushes they've sent me. But honestly, we're still in a fine position nonetheless. Wait, I do need a Spear of the Forest up for round 25. That's my DDT defense with this loadout. Oh, crap. We're good. We're good. Trust. Trust. We're fine. We're fine, bro. We're fine, chat. We're fine. 
All right, we kill them on DTs. Their strategy is not defend DTs well at all. And this life bus here, the four should be able to defend DTs on our end because we just get MIB on it and it's OP. Let's see if they send me the DTs. It should theoretically defend. No, send them one DT and then they're gonna their Churchill ability this. All right, and then we send one more and they're dead. Unless they first strike it. Yeah, they're dead. GG. Okay. That was a messy game, but we got the win at the end of the day. So I'll take it. I'll hit him with the good game. On to the next. All right, guys, we got another match here. We're on Oasis this time around. I've switched up a little slightly, but we're still going to rely on the life of Druid as our late game defense. We're on the strategy of Druid Submarine and um, Druid Submarine and Village here. So we'll start with our Gwendolyn right here. Opponent starting with their Bomb Shooter, which is a little bit interesting. So we're we'll going to have to wait and see. What they're cooking there, and then I'll be getting my druid down next. I think they brought Fate Weaver Adora, if I remember correctly. So probably some bomb submarine farm action for my opponent. If I were to guess, is there a loadout? Bomb submarine farm. So bomb submarine farm. If we can be bomb sub farm, that's gonna be very good for us. It's a very strong strategy, and I'm pretty sure this is a pretty strong player as well. So gonna focus up here. But Druid and Gwendolyn start. I'm only gonna be getting one life buff druid early. We'll be going for our other two later in the match. And the reason why I'm not going to start with three life of druids is just way too expensive to start with that, guys. It's way too expensive to start for that. with that. I would be limiting my own eco and everything very significantly. And we don't want to do that. We want to make sure we get sold eco because eco builds upon itself. So if you limit your eco early, you're going to limit your later game money very substantially. So getting as much early game greed as possible is extremely important with any strategy you have. All right, send some blue balloons. They're upgrading their bomb, that's fine. Got about 10 druid leaks in so far, so not that many druid leaks, but we'll get we'll get more as the rounds progress. So I'm not really too worried about that at the moment. Now one thing, okay. They go for a farm early. So I'm actually gonna balloon boost them these. They're gonna tower boost against these, I assume. Yeah, there's a tower boost. But still, it still might force some leaks on their side. I'm honestly fine they went for an early farm on me, because them going for an early farm does um I mean, the f rounds were stored out, stored a little bit out. Okay, what's our life count looking like? Let's use that first. Um, I leaked a little bit too much. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. A little bit too much leakage action there, but so I'm not gonna be able to get actually full life buff druids on my later druids. But it's not the end of the world, you know. It's not the end of the world. Does this defend, or do you need to cross path this druid? I'm actually not even sure. Right now, it actually seems like it's defending without a cross path, which is surprising to me. Uh, let's cross path it now. We actually are going to start to yeah leak a little bit. I don't want to leak anymore. We'll buy hard thorns on it. We'll buy hard thorns up. Send them some black balloons here. They're going to have to cross path their bomb. Yeah, they get the bigger bombs on it. They're good on their end. Nicely done. I want to try to stole these rounds a little bit. I don't know how, though. Let's see if I can... Maybe I can manipulate the druids targeting a little bit during some of these rounds to get some balloons by. Hmm... Because the druid's kind of anti-stalling, which I don't like. And maybe if I like switch the druid between close and last towards the end of the round, I might be able to get the round a little bit longer, which would be good for me. Because currently the rounds are getting absolutely short because of me, pretty much. Not because of my opponent as well. We're anti-stalling ourselves, which is not, not the best situation to be in. And our Gwendolyn's also popping some of the balloons down too. Hmm. I guess it is what it is, you know? I might just have to live with it. Maybe put Gwyneth on close. Let's see if we can get this round stalled out at all. When do the balloons come? There's yells that come at the end of this round. Yep. Close. Last. Okay, we let, we let some balloons through. We let some balloons through. You can tell what the, the AI balloons are because they don't have a decal on them. So those blues are AI balloons. Yep. That round was slightly stalled. So we did a good job on that round. Put this back on last now. There's some easy zebras as well. Let's go for a submarine right here. Okay, I need to save up for that reactor door. Got it up. Perfect. Let's target this cocktail right here. So then, the yeah, the cocktail pairs really well with the reactor because the reactor pops everything down, like purple balloons down, so the cocktail won't get blocked later. So that's kind of the idea on defense. They go for mortar. It's mortar. What? Bomb? Mortar farm with... Fate Weaver doors, interesting. Okay, I did not expect that loadout from them. I'll be honest. Mortar is a surprise to me. It's gonna D-Regrow Druid up top. I think I'm honestly just gonna go for an early um 
jungle's bounty, similar to how I played last match, just because having the selling value of this in case they like send you an all-out rush is really important. And I can pretty much afford it pretty early here anyways, so one early jungle's bounty is not a bad place. Let's look at my farmer, let's get my balloon bot in here. Alright, currently they don't even have a lightning druid up, but I mean, they haven't forced, it in my, forced my hand on it, so there's no reason to really build it up. I think another thing we'll do is we'll keep this unsubmerged a decent amount, just because I want to um, stole these rounds out. So, well, actually, keeping on submerged also puts me at a risk of being rushed a little bit, though, because then you can layer more balloons over. I don't know if I do this unsubmerged tech. I can try to do it towards the end of some rounds. I can just get the rounds a couple seconds longer. It helps me out so much, so. We'll maybe experiment a little bit with it. A little bit of experimentation. Never hurt nobody. Put this, uh, we'll keep this guy on last. We'll keep the jungle's bounty on last for now, just because it's pretty good at de regrowing in case they rush me. And then when Mo Browns come around, we'll put it on strong because it's pretty good against Moabs as well. So, dual purpose. See if I can get this round just a little bit longer. Submerge now. We're good. Let's get a submarine right here. I can upgrade this in case they rush me. Doesn't look like they're interested right now, though. Put this on strong now. Put it on strong. Seems like they're in it for the long haul right now, Mr. Morpheme. And then we'll try to leak camels in round 18 is going to be our plan. To get two more druid buffs in. Unfortunately, I leaked too much in the early game, so I'm not going to get old. I'm not going to get great druid buffs in the other ones, but I can still get decent druid buffs, you know? So, it's not the end of the world. Oh, lag. Game's lagging a little bit now that I'm trying to get druid leaks in. That's unfortunate. Okay. Hopefully... Lag doesn't cause any issues for me. A little bit more lag. Yeah, unsubmerge. I was going to try to unsubmerge and resubmerge the sub to only decamo some of them. But the inputs were severely delayed from the lag. So I was only able to leak 30. I could have probably leaked more if there was no lag issues going around. It is what it is, though. I mean, it's part of the game. I can't really complain too much about it. All right, let's get a second druid farm up. Hopefully that just not, does not become an issue later, though, because that would be really annoying. We got two druid farms down so far, though. That's 300 equivalent eco. Stole the round out, unsubmerge you for a little bit. Use the ability. Yeah, dude, this lag is actually kind of bad. <laughs> my, it, my, all of my inputs are getting delayed like a decent bit here. Let's see. Place that. Wait, upgrade? Yeah, you can see the delay. You can see the delay. When I click to upgrade versus when it actually upgrades. It's pretty apparent. All right, all my druid farms are on strong, right? Yep, we're good there. All right, they got pretty good farms in there, and so nicely done to Mr. Morpheme on that. But, I mean, our eco and druid farms aren't bad either, so, I mean, I think this is a pretty, um, pretty good match we have set up here so far. Let's clear this obstacle just because. Just because. But it's gotten strong. Okay, if they send me, like, a bunch of tight leads, we just go for... Well, right, we should be able to fit a decent amount of tight leads, to be honest, with our setup. Because... Our druid farms do a lot. We can use cocktail against the tight leads. We can get some ballistic missiles up. We can firestorm if it comes down to it. I'm not that scared of tight leads. Unless it's like a gigantic tight lead rush. Then, and we don't have firestorm available. Then it can be a problem. But right now, it doesn't even look like they're interested in sending either. Yeah, they go for another thing. They're selling for their Wall Street. Nicely done. Round 23 Wall Street makes sense, to be honest. Because... So this is one round where I'd like to try to leak for a for a um druid buff, but they a lot of the time I'll be able to leak one of these camel camo um purples. But I feel like it's gonna be kind of impossible here in this case because of the input delay. So I'm just not even gonna attempt to do it anymore. I'll just leave myself at these druid buffs. I'm not gonna play around with input delay. Now, once you get about 30 25 to 30 druid farms, I think it's worth to go for an energizer to buff these guys. So I will be going for that eventually, for sure. Not yet, though. Oh my gosh. Wait, why? I'm on one bar now. One second. Oh, maybe it's me. I'm... Okay. Hold up. I might, I might have been uh, blaming the wrong person here. I, okay, we're back on three bars. Okay. That's the first time I've seen myself... My own um internet going down in a while. Yeah. What the heck? Okay, I want to get up a... Spear of the Forest before round 25 hits. Because I need this for DTs. This isn't my best DT defense here good that has been bought go for a jungle drums village as well with this oh my lord these inputs are so delayed okay 
Key spam druid farms. We got the spear of the forest up. We're good. Both of us are, are have low bars now. Is it possible that like? Okay, they got their thing up. Do I? I could send them a rush. No, let's not send them a rush. Is it possible that like my opponent's internet's so bad that my internet's like trying to connect to it, and then that's why my bars are down? I don't know if that's how it works or not. Cause normally I'm always on three bars, but this person's internet seemed to be really bad, and then. It's whatever, it's whatever. Let's get up a submarine here so I can decamo if they rush me. I think we go for maybe... How many druid farms do I have? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, a couple more. That's going to be it for druid farms. We have enough now. We're going to go for the energizer now on our end. I'm really afraid that this is going to mess up my late game defense. Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to, like, micro first strikes at all, am I? Yeah, this is the worst delay I've had in a long time. Oh, sell that, actually. This can be the... This going to be my Avatar of Wrath, yep. All right, we got everything set up here pretty well for us. I assume they're going to send me. I can kill them with a decent-sized rush as well, if they d wait to send. Yeah, they're sending me one. All right, let's get that guy up. We should actually pop this pretty well with my current setup. We have we have the Spear of the Forest and the Avatar of Wrath both life buffed. Which is going to pop down the upper layers and then we just get Superstorm against the insides. I'm going to have to sell for the Superstorm though. Which is a little bit of a worry for me. I think we just sell this for the Superstorm. So I can sell only one thing to get it up. Alright, sell now. Just to play it safe. Because I don't want to like get lagged out of selling it yep we're good this is on strong right yep one more to buff it all right we're fine Okay, here we go. Lag fest coming in. Homeland defense. Tower boost. Firestorm. First strike micro. Come on. Micro it. We're good. Almond defense again. I think we're defending. I think we're defending here. Somehow through the lag. Please, please, please. My first strike micro is so slow. And I don't even know what happened. We won the game. Did they die? Did they surrender? It didn't even say. We won though. I'll take it. I'll take it. Get me out of that laggy mess. Thank you. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please hit the like button and the subscribe button down below. That's it for today. Ryan, I'm like out. Peace out, guys.